SEC releases the conference only schedule today. Who won? Who lost? Let's look at it. All right, what's going on, everybody? Christian Ballard here, Ballard Sports Media. Uh, the SEC finally released the conference only schedule today, uh, which you know. So we have known the news. We we saw last week. You know, this team was gonna play. This team from the East, you know, conference only, this is their extra opponent. You know, Auburn's got this team from the East, Bama gets this team, that team, whatever, right? We knew that. The question was, when were they going to play? We also knew that they were going to, um, you know, start uh, September 26th. That was a given. We knew that. Uh, and it also looks like each team only gets one bye week. Uh, I didn't know how that was going to go down with it being 10 games. I think we all could have expected... Hold on. We all could have expected, uh, you know, it to probably be only one week unless, you know, for testing purposes or whatever, uh, it, it could have been two, right? <laughs> So, let's get into the schedule. We'll break it down team by team, starting with my favorite football team, the Alabama Crimson Tide. All right, so how do I want to do this? I, I want to talk winners and losers here in the schedule release because when we talk football, right, uh, you know, and we talk about schedules, we talk about strength of schedule, we talk about... How is the team going to be this year? How do people think they're going to be? Some teams like Vandy and Arkansas, it's predictable. They're probably going to be at the bottom of their divisions. Uh, Arkansas, the bottom of the West. Vandy, the bottom of the East. You probably take Georgia and Alabama from, you know, the top of each division. Georgia in the East, Bama in the West. Uh, possibly Florida. Maybe a team like LSU in the West again. I don't know. Who knows what they're going to do? Um, so... You know, so we, we talk about schedules, we talk about strength of schedule, is it a tough one, it's going to be a rough year for you, or they got it pretty easy this year. So let's look at it. Starting with Alabama here, uh, again, everyone it looks like is going to open up September 26th, that's the SEC start date. Uh, you know, so it's starting a month later than expected, of course we all expected it to be on September Let's see, the 5th, uh, two weeks from this upcoming Saturday, actually. Uh, of course, Alabama had a game against USC, but then the conference-only thing happened due to the, you know, the pandemic, and, you know, it was a whole, like, you need conference games, and, uh, you know, don't play games you probably don't need to play or whatever type of thing. So, uh, you know, you need conference games for conference champions. So, let's get into it. Alabama. Uh, and again, these dates are September 26th, uh, October 3rd, October 10th, October 17th, October 24th, uh, October 31st, 11-7, uh, November 7th, um, November 14th, November 21st, November 28th, and then there's an extra game being on December 5th. The SEC Championship game was supposed to be September 5th. They now move that to September 19th, two weeks later, right? Alabama, they start out with a, let's see, a road game. Uh, and again, I'll show you real quick the schedule. Uh, I'll break it down, but if you notice the schedule, how they set it up, hold on. Notice there's teams in white and teams in gray. The ones in gray are road games. The ones in white are home games. All right, getting back to it. Alabama opens up with Missouri on the road. Then they have A&M at home. Uh, Ole Miss on the road. Home game against Georgia. Uh, a road game against Tennessee. Home game against Mississippi State. Then they get a bye week on November 7th, then they go on the road to play the defending champs of LSU and Death Valley. Then, 
they get a home game against Kentucky. They get the Iron Bowl at home against Auburn. That has not been moved. That will be the weekend of Thanksgiving. Thank you. Uh, and then they get a road game at the end of the season against Arkansas. Move down to Arkansas. Of course, I just mentioned last game of the season. Uh, you get you get a home game against Alabama. But prior to that, let's look at it. Tough road for you to start out, Arkansas. Um, you know, uh, let's see. Looks like a home game against Georgia. At least that's a home game for you, but it really won't matter much. Uh, two back-to-back -back road games, Mississippi State on October 3rd. Then October 10th, you got Auburn. Then you got Ole Miss at home. Then you get a bye week. Then you have to go to A&M. Come back home, play Tennessee, the Volunteers. Play in Gainesville. Come back home, play LSU. Play a road game at Missouri, your cross-divisional rival. And then end it with a home game against Alabama. Moving down to Auburn. They get a home game against Kentucky. Then they play Georgia the second week. Uh, that's on the road. Then they play... Arkansas, uh, that's a home game. Back-to-back -back road games here, uh, October 17th uh, at Carolina. Then the next week at Ole Miss, home against LSU. Get a bye week November 7th. Um, you got Mississippi State, that's a road game. Tennessee's a home game. Then you get the Iron Bowl on the road at Alabama. Uh, in Tuscaloosa. Then your final game of the season, a home game against A&M. Florida, you're next up on the list. Uh, I got them winning the East this year, but we'll have to find out and see what happens. I think they have what it takes to do it. If there's any year Florida gets over Georgia, it's probably this year, but we'll see. <sighs> Open up road game against Ole Miss. Then you play at home against South Carolina, road game against A&M, home against LSU, then you're home against Missouri, then you get a bye week, then you get an, the, uh, what do they call it, and I'm not even trying to make fun of it, but don't they call it like the world's largest outdoor cocktail party, the Florida-Georgia game in Jacksonville, that is still in Jacksonville, Florida, they have not moved that game, uh, so you get the cocktail party in Jacksonville, uh, November 7th. Then you get Arkansas November 14th. That's a home game. On the road at Vandy. Home against Kentucky. And at Tennessee to end the season. Uh, Georgia. This should be interesting. Home against... Or I'm sorry. You're on the road against Arkansas. Home against Auburn. Home against Tennessee. Obviously, you know, we've been talking about this game on the road against Alabama, on the road at Kentucky, bye week, uh, the Florida game. Then November 14th, you play at Missouri, home on November 21st against uh, the Mississippi State. Then you play at uh, South Carolina November 28th. Then... You play uh, home against Vandy uh, December 5th. All right. Kentucky. Home game. Or I'm sorry, that's a road game there. Uh, at Auburn. Home against Ole Miss. Home against Mississippi State. At Tennessee. Home against Georgia. At Mizzou. By week. Uh, home against Vandy. At Alabama. At Florida. Home against South Carolina. LSU, the defending champs here. Mississippi State is a home game. You start out with that. Uh, October 3rd at Vandy. Then you're home against Mizzou at Florida. Home against South Carolina at Auburn. Uh, bye week. Then you got Alabama coming. Uh, that's November 14th. At Arkansas. At A&M. And then home against Ole Miss. Let's see. Mississippi State now. 
or I'm sorry, uh, Ole Miss. Home against Florida at Kentucky. Home against Bama at Arkansas. Uh, you host Auburn. Then you go on the road at Vandy. Then you get your bye week. Uh, home against South Carolina at A&M. Home against Mississippi State in the Egg Bowl. And then on the road at LSU. Uh, and I could keep going on. I, I've probably covered it all, but... Missouri, of course, opens up with a home game against Alabama. Uh, then they got Tennessee, LSU, both of those road games. Home game against Fandy. Road game against Florida. Home against Kentucky. Bye week. Uh, home against Georgia. On the road at South Carolina. Uh, on the road at Mississippi State. Prior to that, I, I know I skipped it, but prior to that, you get your rival in Arkansas. That's at home. I, I pretty much covered it all. I mean, listen, I, I'll stop there. I know I, I, I'm i kind of wasting time going through all that. But, I mean, listen, uh, l- let's get to some winners and losers here. Uh, listen, Vandy, go ahead and count them as a loser in all this. They, they're terrible. Them in Arkansas, man. Anything could happen in that game. Uh, listen, we, we talk about the greatness of the SEC in football and basketball and all the way around, right? Vandy is like a tennis team or a baseball team or a softball team or whatever. Same with Arkansas. They're not football teams, really. I mean, they are, but like, when's the last time you saw Vandy win a bowl game? When's the last time you saw them make a bowl game or anything? Same with Arkansas, right? Uh, You guys got it rough, man. Like, you really got it rough. Uh, So, here are the winners and losers right here loser arkansas uh need i say more oh well they open up with the home game against georgia well georgia's a th- this is kirby smart and a really great defense that we're talking about a favorite for the east the favorite for the east slightly ahead of florida uh road games with mississippi state and auburn and not to mention those are back to back um okay uh loss and a loss Home against Ole Miss. We'll see what Ole Miss looks like. Then you get a bye week. Then you go on the road at A&M. I don't know. Jimbo Fisher's working with that program. Uh, I mean, counted a loss all the way around for Arkansas. Alabama, let, let's look at them real quick. Uh, Alabama, right? They win. Okay. The only the only reason why I would count it a loss, though, is... Oh, now, okay, I, I get the Iron Bowl is on Thanksgiving weekend, and I said I won a Thanksgiving weekend with uh, an Iron Bowl, but I also like, I I know how they like to save the best for last and the last game of the regular season be the Iron Bowl and everything. But, you know, that's really the only thing. Uh, But, hey, you get Thanksgiving weekend, you know, the three-day weekend, right? Uh, Eat turkey, shop, and then watch the greatest rivalry in college football. Okay? (sighs) Let's see. Bama wins. Arkansas loses. I mean, it's tough. So, here, here I'll, I'll just, I'll try to make this quick. I know this video is kind of long and everything, but let, let's look down the list. Okay. For Alabama, I would say they, they're a winner in this schedule. I mean, this is Alabama we're talking about. They'll run through it. Uh, You know, listen. Road game to open up the year. Uh, it's Missouri. You know, I'm not going to throw him under the bus or anything. I'm sure Eli Drinkwitz, uh, the new head coach there, could do something, give him some time. But, you know, they're not, I mean, what what do you want to say about uh, uh, Missouri compared to Alabama? You can't compare them to Alabama. You can't. Uh, it is going to be kind of tough with A&M, uh, you know, at home, week two. Uh, then you have to go on the road at Ole Miss. I, I think you win both of those games, don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, I mean, listen, who knows what a and going to look like this year in Jumbo's third year. Uh, they had a down year last year compared to what they had a couple years ago. Uh, but I think he could get it going in the right direction and turn it around this year. Georgia at home. Then after that, or the third Saturday game, 
uh, still not on the third Saturday this year. That's still on the 24th and not the 17th of October. Then you get a game on Halloween. Nick Saban's birthday. You get to host the Bulldogs of Mississippi State at home. Then you get a bye week. You get a little breather, a break before LSU in Death Valley. Okay, cool. Then you get Kentucky. Then you get an Iron Bowl. Then you get Arkansas. The Kentucky game and Auburn are both home games. Alabama's a winner here. And I'm not just saying that because they're Alabama. I, I mean, I kind of am. But I mean, to look at the fact that you get LSU on the road and then you get a... Now, if you were going to Kentucky, I know Lexington is kind of a tough place. I'm not going to sit here and try to compare Kentucky to Alabama, but still, come on. Um, you know, so... Uh, I'm a little lost. Hold on. Alabama won their schedule. Okay. They got it easy. I'm not just saying that because it's Alabama. I mean, again, like I just said, I, I kind of am. But, I mean, at the same time, I mean, listen. Georgia, your, your road games are Ole Miss, Missouri, Tennessee, and LSU, right? And Arkansas, right? I only see two of those. Or really three of those. Uh, Ole Miss, Tennessee, and LSU, especially LSU, who knows what that's going to look like. I know they lose a whole lot, but they have quite a bit coming back still. Kentucky, Auburn, Mississippi State, Georgia, and A&M at home. You kind of got it tougher as far as teams go uh, for home games. Uh, you know, a and M's better than Ole Miss. a and M's better than Missouri. Georgia is the best in the East right now. Mississippi State, I mean, they can be tough. This is Michael Leach coming in. Uh, he did a pretty good job at Washington State. Uh, overall, uh, I think Alabama won it. I mean, you just got to give them a win here. Um, so, Arkansas, you open up with home game at Georgia. Against Georgia, not at Georgia, though. Uh, then you have back-to-back -back road games with Mississippi State and Auburn. I think that's an automatic L right there for Arkansas, even if those were home games. I mean, Arkansas, it, it's going to be hard for Sam Pittman to undo what Chad Morris did. I mean, even before Chad Morris... Arkansas was kind of in the dumps, but he made it worse. Uh, it's going to take years and years, not just years, decades, probably centuries of trying to rebuild Arkansas. That's just my opinion, but we'll see. And to open up with a home game against Georgia and Kirby Smart, that's tough enough. Then you got to go on the road two weeks in a row with Mississippi State and Auburn. Then you got to play Ole Miss. Thankfully, you get a bye week before a road game against A&M. I still don't think you're going to win at Kyle Field. Uh, then you get a home game against Tennessee. whoop de doo uh, Cool. But your road game, your road schedule is rough. Mississippi State and Auburn, A&M, Florida and Missouri. Florida and A&M on the road. After you've already had road games with Mississippi State and Auburn, that's tough. Auburn gets Kentucky at home, Georgia on the road, Arkansas. Uh, I think home games, they look pretty good. Road games, they look pretty good, too. I mean, listen, Auburn is one of the best teams in the West. Uh, you, you at least have to give, even Bama fans, come on, man, give Gus Malzahn some credit for the offense. And the defense, uh, but inconsistency. So who you never know what you're going to get when Auburn has Georgia and Bama on the road, uh, and they're not having a bunch of tough teams at home. Uh, their home games are Kentucky, Arkansas, LSU, and Tennessee, and a and &M. They could probably run through those, but then you got Georgia, Mississippi State, and Bama on the road, plus South Carolina and Ole Miss. That's five right there. You could probably win two or three out of those five on the road. You'll lose to Georgia and Bama. 
You might even... You, Mississippi State could pull an upset. I don't know. But I, I, I think that... I don't know. With teams like Ole Miss on the road along with Georgia and Alabama, that's that's a tough loss for you guys. Sorry. Uh, Florida, road game against Ole Miss to open things up. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see what Lane Kiffin's going to do with Ole Miss. Got a tough, tough test to start out. It's the Gators who are second in the East right now as a favorite and everything. Uh... Home against South Carolina after that. Then you're on the road at A&M. Home against LSU and Missouri. I don't know. Georgia games in Jacksonville. Right? You kind of get a break before that A&M game with South Carolina coming to your home stadium. But then you got to play... Two back-to-back games, LSU and Missouri. Uh, I picked Florida to beat LSU this year. I thought they had a really good chance. So, I mean, I, I'm kind of 50-50 with it. You end it with the game in Knoxville against the Vols. Uh, you got a road game against Fandy. You got a home game against Kentucky. You got a home game against Arkansas. Considering Kentucky's at home. LSU's at home. South Carolina's at home. I don't know. I, I guess you win. <sighs> Georgia has Arkansas on the road. Arkansas is terrible. Georgia's far ahead of them. Auburn and Tennessee back-to-back -back home games. Um, they normally beat Auburn uh, in Athens. Tennessee going to Georgia. You know what I think about that. You know what we're all thinking. Alabama on the road, that's your tough test right there. Then you go on the road at, at Kentucky. I think they're better than Kentucky, but you you don't know what you're going to get out of Kentucky and Mark Stoops when you go to Lexington, I think. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, Florida and Jacksonville. Uh, Missouri on the road. South Carolina. South Carolina on the road, man. You lost to them in Athens last year. I don't know. But then again, you got Jamie Newman now. You you don't have Jake Fromm. He's gone. All right? He's in Buffalo, New York. I guess Georgia wins this outside of, like, that Tuscaloosa game with Alabama. I mean, Georgia's going to be Georgia this year, man. I really think that. And I think Kirby Smart gets the offense under control. Uh, can, moving on to Kentucky. Um... Uh, Auburn on the road, that's a loss. Home against Ole Miss is a Mississippi State. That'll be interesting, I think, especially Mississippi State. Then you got to go to Knoxville, go to Mizzou, go to Bama, go to Florida. Go to Bama and Florida. So your road games, I think just by looking at your four road games, five road games, but four of them in particular, with Auburn, Tennessee, Bama and Florida on the road. All of those on the road, by the way. Uh, you, you you lost this schedule, handout, whatever you want to call it, Kentucky. You lucked out. Uh, if all those were home games and the rest of it was road game, uh, I mean, you, you would probably still lose all those games at home, but especially considering that they're not. I, I don't see how you're going to go to Jordan Hare and win. Then turn around a couple weeks later, like a month later, and go to Knoxville and win. You're going to go to Mizzou and win. I, I don't see how you win all of those. You might win a couple of them. You, you could probably beat Tennessee and Knoxville. You probably win at Mizzou. Heck, you might pull an upset week one. But I don't see how you win all of those. You, you might get lucky with one. LSU, I think, won the schedule. Home against Mississippi State to start out. Your road games are Vandy, Florida, Auburn, Arkansas, and A and M. Uh, the only thing I see really, yes, Alabama is going to be better and everything, but that's in Death Valley. It gets loud there. I know that their luck against the Tide and 
uh, Baton Rouge hasn't been great lately. Uh, but still. Uh, road game against Florida. That's going to be tough. Road game against Auburn at Jordan Hare where it gets loud. But then again, what am I saying it gets loud? Tough place to play. There's not going to be fans, sadly. But it's still, it's still one of those environments. It's still Jordan Hare, I think. It's still Kyle Field for A&M. Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm kind of 50-50. I don't know if they lost or not. But we'll see. I guess because of your road games with A&M, Auburn, and Florida, especially... I don't know. It's kind of 50-50 because the home games are pretty much cupcakes outside of Bama. Uh, Ole Miss. Don't want to sleep on them and Lane Kiffin. So I, I guess you kind of won. I don't know. It's 50-50 with me. I don't I don't really know. Ole Miss. Home against Florida, at Kentucky, home against Bama, home against Auburn. Your home games are probably your toughest games, except for A&M and LSU. I, I'd give it to you. I mean, even though you might lose, you're, you're going to lose to Bama and Auburn. Uh, you actually might pull an upset against Auburn at home. I don't know, man. Uh, you could have had it worse. They could have given you these games as road games. They didn't. They're home games for you. I think Ole Miss kind of won it, uh, but I don't know. I, I'm losing myself right now, honestly. But I'll, I, I'll leave it to you like this. Um, Bama is going to be Bama no matter who they play or where they play them. Uh, could someone trip them up like LSU? Could Georgia win in Tuscaloosa? Maybe. Uh, but you, you can't sit there and say Bama lost this war on schedule handouts. Arkansas is going to be the bottom of the West. Vandy's going to be the bottom of the East. Uh, once again, uh, Ole Miss, we'll see what Lane Kiffin does. We'll see what, you know, Mike Leach does at Mississippi State. Um, uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, the Egg Bowl is in, uh, Ox is it Oxford, I think. Oxford. <sighs> Missouri. Back-to-back -back road games with Tennessee and LSU. That's really tough, especially after a home game against Alabama. They kind of lucked out with that. Uh, plus, you know, uh, teams like Mississippi State, South Carolina, and Florida also on the road. Uh, so teams that I think won, Alabama won, I think Georgia won. LSU has it pretty good this year, I think. Um, Tennessee. Some of their tough games are at home. I, I, I guess they won it. I, I'm not saying they're going to beat those teams, but they, they have it pretty good. They got the third Saturday uh, at home. They got Kentucky at home. They got Auburn on the road, though. But they got A&M in Florida at home. So that should be interesting. Uh, Vandy lost, of course we know. So, again, I, I don't know. You guys probably saw the schedule. You let me know down below. Uh, I, I know I've been going on for the past 30 minutes in this video, but it, it's really tough to figure out. It's an interesting schedule. We'll see what happens. Uh, but there are winners and there are losers. Um... Uh, Bama, you say whatever you want about them, and Georgia and Florida, those three teams. Auburn, they got the Iron Bowl in Tuscaloosa this year. Uh, I, I, I guess it's great for Auburn to have LSU and Tennessee at home. It's great to have A&M at home. Uh, but when you got a road game against Mississippi State, Georgia, and Alabama, you know, that can get tough. But I think, uh, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what happens. There's, there's a lot of 50-50 with the scheduling. And again, as you see there, the schedule. Uh, you know, again, I'm really sorry. I, I can't I can't help but go through all these games. Uh, I'm not even going to try. But you, you could pretty much figure it out. We know the SEC. We know it's deep. You got teams like Bama and Georgia. They're going to be great. Florida's going to be great. 
Auburn, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, an Iron Bowl in Tuscaloosa plus the Dogs in Athens this year. They don't get much luck there. Um, A&M with road games uh, with Mississippi State and Alabama and Tennessee. That's tough. We'll see what they look like. So, again, there are winners and losers. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments below who won the SEC scheduling, who lost the SEC scheduling. Definitely let me know. Uh, I really appreciate you guys for showing up uh, and watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And again, let me know who you think won this schedule uh, release or whatever. You know, uh, who got it easy this year, who got it rough. Uh, you know who you are in the SEC. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, Valor Sports Media, checking out. Y'all have a good day.